Well, hey, you guys, and I hope you're well. Well, this is um, another episode of DIY by Dodge, you guys, but um, it is just a follow on. This is part two to the hallway project. You know, of course, we've done David's room, which is through that door. We did Emily's room, which is through that door there. And now we're coming through doing this bit here. And uh, this has been a little bit more work than I thought, you know, and the. It's, it's not the most exciting of jobs doing this part of the hallway, but the part we're moving on to now is a lot more technical, you guys. You know, so as you'll see, this is the, the double doors that go through into our bathroom area, and that's the next place we're going into. But I thought if we got all this done first, that's going to do it nicely, you know. So I'm not sure, we're just going to sort of make it up as we go along, as I always do. But basically what I've got, you guys, is that piece of plywood just there to cover up this um, hole at the top. You know, like I said, the curtain used to be up in there and come across. But we're now needing a little bit more privacy for the family. Now the kids are getting a little bit older. So we've got that. We've got these two sort of wider sections here that are going to go either side with that little narrow one at the top. And then we're going to use that as uh, ingos, as we call them, for the plywood up in there, you know. But basically, you guys, that will really tidy off and finish what we've started, you know, and bring us to a place where we can actually paint this thing, you know. But we're getting there, you guys. Yeah, we're certainly getting there. Really enjoying it. And again, like I say, was it pussy cat? And again, like I say, you know, this is all surgery rehab stuff, and uh, just just brilliant, you know, just to keep moving through it. Her bubbles. Hello, big boy. You gonna help, Dad? So yeah, let's get cracking, you guys. Right, guys. So hopefully the picture's gonna look okay. We've got a bit more light as well. We've shifted that across as well. And we're watching. Mega structures for as extreme engineering, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to watch something like that just for the old motivation, you know. But there's a weed over there, you guys. We've shifted that um, pine sort of top that you see there as well, and that's leaving that bit completely open. And there we are. Lighting always seems to be my problem when we come to doing these things, but we'll, we'll bash on. So basically, guys, we need to take off this skirtboard here, this piece here, and this piece here. We haven't put that bit of skirtboard on yet. So all this needs to come off. So let's, yeah, let's do it. There's not really any point in keeping these, but I'll, I'll take them off whole anyway. There we go. I need this, I need to keep this little corner piece though. Which is just broken, look at that. Ugh. Let's have to make a new one then. So as you can see you guys, you know, with these older sort of houses, you can see the gaps. And we're going to take care of all that today and make this bit sealed like all the other rooms that we're doing, you know what I mean? But yeah, basically this is we're going to put on this this piece all the way up, so we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. The wood should fit in there. I might have to cut a tiny bit out of the carpet just there. Just a little bit maybe, just to get it to fit in. But yeah, that'll look good. Right, and the other side, hopefully I'm still in view. I'm sure I am. I actually get one of the kids to do some common work for me, you know. But yeah, you'll see this kind of, there's a gap there as well, you guys. And all these areas are the things that lets the draft in and out. It keeps the place very dry, which is aces. But, you know, it's, especially this time of year in Scotland, you can actually feel it, you know. So every room that we've done, I think this is almost one of the last, we've, uh, we've, we've actually sealed these up all together. Because the house gets plenty of ventilation. Yeah, so basically, because this because this bit here is actually going to be like a feature of the hallway itself, you know, we're going to do a little bit more. So as you can see, you know, the skirting boards, these are quite thick, quite wide, should I say. Not thick, they're nice and wide, you know. And I think by the end of this, you'll see why, you know, when we get that bit sort of filled in there. So really, the first job I've got is to get these two wide parts, there's the other one over there, at either side, like that, and up on top. Right guys, so we'll head up top here. Um, I've cut one of these a little bit already. One of these uh, skirtings here, like that's going to go on there okay. I just want to see what like we're going to be up at the top. Not much. Not much at all, you guys. Yeah. So if we can get this piece, these pieces put on, that would be great. Let's have a quick look. that's going to be for one side and we'll have to cut this one to size as well to be exactly the same 
but of course the thing is at the top I'll have to take a little a little edge out like that on both sides for the top to go on so that'll just be a wee bit of work but we'll, we'll manage Yeah, so just like in every room, every room we're going through, you guys, uh, we are insulating each and every part. Now this might not, this might look a little bit rough, but believe me, it's not. This makes all the difference. Guys. So now when we put the skirt on there, there'll be no gaps. And those bits in the floor I mentioned earlier will be exactly the same. Because that's it sealed. And then once we put this on top, we put a little stream of edging down there. Pew, perfect. We'll do the whole lot just like that. So hopefully you can see you guys look at that. All the way down. Totally sealed up. Perfect. Just ready for this to go on. I'll have to cut a couple. Oh, is this David coming up? Oh, oh here he comes. And yes, yeah, so that'll just go straight on there like that, you mm -hmm. guys. That true look. Pretty nice, although it's not even painted. Not even painted, and it still looks really nice, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I think David's come up to give me a wee hand. It's a school night tonight, was it? It's a... mm -hmm. Okay, so the other side of this top piece of, top piece of facing, it doesn't feel altogether perfect. This saw is a wee bit on the blunt side, you guys. I'm to get a new one, I think. Hey, there we go. So there we go, you guys. One side and the other side. So she's ready to go up top. Right, guys, so there we are. We've got on this, uh, got the side skirts going up on there, up over top and back down the other side. So it seems to be looking pretty good, you guys. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, look at that. Isn't it nice wood, isn't it? Just when it's just being put on, it seems a shape and painted white, but we're just going to have to, you know what I mean? So basically, you guys have got that tiny little bit of that skirting board that came away, which is really annoying. And I've got these two pieces right here that we're going to use for over there. A mahogany piece and a piece that was painted white before, but it'll all be white anyway. So that's just the way that it's going to look. So how we're looking, you guys? Look at that. We're all the way around, as you can see. We've popped on those skirting boards over here. Look, so that corner's all nice and done. So it's just obviously going to meet that white part of the stairs. It's going to carry on white all the way around and up. I'm going to fill in this section here. But, um, you know, at this particular point of doing this video, it's now bedtime for the kids, so it looks like I'm going to have to get back to this tomorrow, you know. But hey-ho, that's a good start. Hard going a lot. I must admit, you know, still with the surgery recovery, I'm still sort of finding it quite difficult. But, you know, just going to keep pushing on to, to get there. But, boy, it's looking good. Right, you guys, so next part. We've got this around on there quite nicely by the looks of things. And now we need this cross member to go up in there. So what I'll do you guys is just give this thing its cut. You'll see there. Give this thing its cut and then we'll, I'll put the camera on the tripod so that we can get it up there. And basically guys we just want to get the, the cross member just up on there. Absolutely dead level. And then that gives us that gap that we're going to need to face it off. So that should look pretty good. Right so guys as usual I'm not a pro all these sort of things you know so what I tend to do is for example this piece we're just about to do here I make it just that maybe a couple of millimeters longer than it needs to be and really get it in as tight as I can and that means obviously if you cut it too short you're, you're kind of stuffed you know cut it a tiny bit longer then you've got that sort of margin for error you know and again I'm, I'm no real big professional you guys you know but hopefully this should just be yeah, you see, so see the couple of mils just giving you that really, really tight fit, and that'll just come down, and that'll be really nice. Now, let's see. Yeah, from the inside, I think. 
So a wee visit from my wife there, she's away back down to the Charlie Men and Kids, trying to get myself out of the way of the camera. But there we go you guys, spot on and absolutely level. Just sort of knocked it into place, got it as tight to the top of the door as I'd like. You know, but that basically gives us that um, rectangular area now to, f now to fill, eh? As you can see, it's looking really good. And guys, normally, you know, when you're doing these type of jobs, you know, your best just, like the new bits, your best just tucking them on, leave a bit of the nail out, just so you can move or adjust or whatever you need to do. And of course, at the end, you know, you'd you'd fill up all the sort of little gaps and uh, down the sides and, you know, once this paint it should, look, should look really, really good. But yeah, it looks like we're coming together. Right, guys, the so next job, before we put on the skirt and back on, we're going to have to drill through an angle and get a screw in this side, same with the other side, and then in the bathroom, same again. So I'll have two screws holding it in really tight. And of course, once we put this in, this top part, it'll be very secure anyway. But you're just as well doing it really tight, you guys. You know, there's, there's no point in doing it slack, you know. Oh, look at that. Snap drilled it already. Wow. Wanna play tough? Okay. Bigger drill but the still guys. Basically just a pilot hole, you guys. Basically just a pilot hole, that's all we need. This in he'll go there. Obviously we'll still have the screw head as well, so we'll just make a little sort of outer ring as well. Let's see if I'm really handy and have all the stuff in my pockets. Yes I do. Counter sink. Here we go. And obviously I'll do the same all the way around. Guys, I can't do the camera work at the same time. Hence why there's so much practice going on. I should get it like this. And of course I don't want to go up the way. And she's in. Nice and strong. The top section, you guys, we know that it's basically 108. We're going to need a 108 look to there, and again we'll just pop it to there, 108, which is great, and then high, I bet it'll be different either side, I want to see, oh, about 310, 310 mil, 310 mil, cool, right, okay, so we'll know where to cut it in the bottom, Let's get a steam in the again. a bit board is just a tad misshapen but that's okay so there we are you guys 310 that's not all it is 310 mil just double check here yeah, pretty much there you guys that's the size of the square we need now to go up top. Well, looking really good. Oh, apologies, that's the mark at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. And that, you guys, is how it's done, I think. See, so it's nice and tight, so I can put it wherever I want it to go. Because what I need to show you next is this. Where are we? Camera wise.
guys. There we go, you guys. So what we've got here is our square piece of wood. And this is going to act as a bead inside all the way around. And then once that's in place, we can tuck it all in and then do the other side. And that'll be just awesome, you guys. Yeah, I took the circular saw to this. Because that was just a, a wee bit of jiggery-pokery. But we've got it nice and tight now. So guys, we basically know the width of that and the height of that. So now what we've really got to do, look at this. What a mess. My goodness. I've been at this for what, 20 minutes. Crying out loud, never mind. So what we'll do is we'll get the two long lengths. I think it was 108 off the top of my head. Um, two of them out of that, hopefully. And uh, we've also got a spare one just in case. But that's going to give us the wood we need to, sorry about the bulb, to go in the innards of that part there, you guys. And basically, once we've got that done, we are going to start painting. You know, we'll maybe leave the other side to be part of the bathroom job, you know, just take it a, a one step at a time. But again, sorry, I haven't even got this green paint up yet, but uh, that'll be coming soon. Once we've got all this white done, all the way around and along, once we've got all that done, you guys, that'll be us ready to go. So there we are, you guys. One for top, bottom, and uh, one for either side. So, oh, they'll go in there nicely, I think. Right, so guys, up they go. Now, I, I've, I haven't really tucked anything in place yet, except from this skirting board here, and that top board. I took that skirting board away again, so that this, we could secure that sort of cross member bit there. But guys, what you're always best to do is just to, you know, don't nail until you're really sort of ready to go, you know, so you can, you can get it nice and straight, fill in the gaps, keep it all nice and flush, you know, so that's what I'll weigh and do just now. And we'll see where we're at after that. Well, Bubbles, we are cooking on gas, aren't we? You're not going to like the next bit, though, are you? What we're going to have to do now, you guys, is take these doors off. And what we're going to do is get all this sanded, all the little bits filled in. And that should start looking really good, you guys. But, um, you know, just while it's the, kind of the following day from just earlier there, you guys, you know, the it takes a wee bit of time. But we've, I've finished off that skirting, that skirting there as well. So that means we're right up over the top, down... That little tiny corner bit there as well. Another new one just there. And that's us ready, you guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off these doors and I'm going to sand off all these bits, get, get all the bits uh, filled. And I think what we'll do, guys, we'll go into a third video, I think. Eh? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I'm always practicing and uh, this has took a little bit longer than I first thought. But um, we're getting there, you know. But hopefully, you guys, the big idea behind this is it's, it's just basically so that we can do um youtube videos in the kind of winter time here in scotland you know when it's really cold and at least we'll be making a really really nice um you know environment just off the the study here you know so next video guys it's painting time and we'll get this all finished off and it'll look really really good i think so listen guys for now god bless i certainly hope you enjoy the videos in our lineup these days um you know we've got the motorbike vlog scottish tours of course, there's this DIY dad, cars, bikes, and boats. There's just loads, you know. So, um, yeah, we'll keep um, working away and practicing and getting all this done, you guys. But listen, for now, thank you so much for watching.